Hi everyone, it's Emily from Kibbeth Asia Pass and Pilates. Hope you're having a super day. We're looking at knee rehabilitation work today or strengthening, depending where you're at. So the first thing I'd encourage anyone to do when they're working a knee, be it newly injured, old injury, whatever, is work on your balance. So my favourite balance exercise for a knee, dead simple, single leg stand, okay? So transferring all the way through one leg, the other leg held at a nice 90 degree angle, Initially starting with your eyes open and then as you progress in confidence, closing your eyes. So hopefully you can see how much harder I'm having to work the minute I close my eyes. It's this big step up. Doing both sides, obviously, a good two to four times throughout the day. It's a really nice way to get the knee and the whole leg nice and strong and improve your balance. So that's the first thing I'd encourage you to do. We're going to try and make these exercises really effective. You do need a ball, I've got Pilates ball, football's okay. And we're going to try and get lots of muscle groups here. So quadriceps, adductors, hamstrings, and gluteals. So to start off with, I'm going to combine my quadriceps and my adductors. So I'm going to pop the ball in between my knees. And I'm going to put a bit of a squeeze on. So that's going to start to immediately engage and strengthen my adductor muscles. I'm going to take a lean against the wall. Have my feet away, but my back and my bones against the wall. I've still got this pressure between the knees, and I'm just going to go into a seat. I'm going to hold for 10 seconds. So I've got my quadriceps working, but because I'm still squeezing this ball, I'm engaging my adductors as well. Now, when I'm ready to come out of that, I'll just slide. Now, you could choose to keep the squeeze on or just release and relax for five seconds. And then pop back on and repeat. I like to do five to six of these, okay? Five to 10 second hold, gradually increasing as your strength increases. And then coming on back. So I won't do another four and more, you're all to tears. So to do the hamstrings and the gluteals, be careful here. If you're new to this, do this without the ball because there's a strong chance you're going to cramp. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're feeling that you're okay, just pop the ball behind the knee and the leg goes here. So again, we're gonna challenge our balance system. If you're not quite confident with your balance, have a wall with you. And we're just gonna take the leg behind and forward. So we're getting our hamstrings and our glutes. Okay, the ball is there just to provide a little bit of extra challenge. As I say, if you're knowing that your hamstrings are tight, do this without the ball so the muscle doesn't cramp. I like to do a good 10 of these and look, I'm moving really slowly. Everything's controlled, obviously, on each leg. So if we've strengthened, we need to then stretch, okay? So adductors, dead easy, a good five to 10 second hold, one to two on each side. So that's lengthening here. Quadriceps, okay, nice. Stretch like so. And if you're going to maintain the standing position, just do a standing gluteal stretch and hamstring stretch. Have a desk, and my desk is here, you can't see it. I'm going to pop my hands on, I'm going to walk back, and here's definitely getting into my hamstrings and a little bit into the glutes. If you want to really get the glutes involved, cross one leg over, just to lengthen through. Five seconds, other leg a good five seconds. I hope some of you find that useful. If you have any questions, just buy me a message. Always happy to help. Have a super day.